Roche has been um, focused on personalized healthcare now for you know my entire time with Roche. I've been with Roche for 28 years, and really, uh, we believe uh, that um, it makes sense. It makes sense for the patients. It makes sense for the healthcare systems. It makes sense for doctors. And the concept of personalized healthcare is, of course, to find um, the right piece, uh, the right uh, medicine for the right patient at the right time using diagnostics to, to, to make sure that we can um, deliver that to, to, to patients at the right time. In terms of um, cancer care, I mean, uh, we've been focused on um, personalized health care since the introduction of Herceptin now 20 years ago. We've had many new medicines since then that have a personalized health care approach. And most recently, we have the advance of cancer immunotherapy, which is the ability to use a medicine to, um, to engage the body's own immune system to fight cancer. And here again, we see the importance of personalized health care because we can identify certain patients that with a diagnostic test that respond better to our cancer immunotherapies than others. So this is this makes sense for patients, but also very much for the healthcare system. And I would think um, very important for Serbia to have the most efficient way to find the medicines to get in the hands of the right patients at the right time. Well, early stage, uh, our early uh, uh, medicine is uh, a tezolizumab PDL1, where we will have we have uh, good results in bladder cancer and in lung cancer already, and those will be the first two indications. But we also have studies going on where we've seen, you know, interesting data in triple negative breast cancer, in renal cancer, and in other diseases that we're exploring right now. Um, and then beyond our lead medicine, our, our most advanced medicine, we have about another 20 medicines that we're going through experiments right now to see if they can also help patients with cancer and be used either alone or in combination with our PDL1 inhibitor. So today, uh, what we see, you know, in the United States and in other European markets uh, is that melanoma is the most advanced disease, skin cancer, uh, and then uh, other cancers are just starting to produce evidence and data, including lung cancer and bladder cancer, as I mentioned before. Um, so. Um, so it's not routine therapy yet, and, and still there's only on average around 20% of patients that get a good long response with cancer immunotherapies today. Now at Roche we're very focused on how do we improve the lives of the other 80% of the patients too. And here's where our diagnostics come into play, here's where combination or adding two medicines in a cancer patient can help us try to improve the lives of the other 80% of the patients uh, that aren't yet getting a good response.